Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juan Carlos Monsalve. Today is December 14, 2023. Um, it is 7.07 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And we're going to play another shoe of Baccarat today. And this information, this free information, um, is for entertainment purposes only. If you decide to use any of my strategies, please be mindful that they may not work 100% of the times and you may lose money. The name of the game is Baccarat. For today's scorecard and all the scorecards of the of the games that we have played, you can visit my website, juancarlosmonsalve.com. You can support my channel at buymeacoffee.com backslash juancarlosmonsalve or PayPal at paypal.me backslash juancarlosmonsalve12 or cash app, uh, dollar sign juancarlosmonsalve. Please give it a like to this video, subscribe to my channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share the video in your personal uh, media uh, platforms, um, sit back and observe. Um, we start with $25 uh, minimum, uh, the minimum bet, and we're looking to win at least five original units, or that means $125 uh, minimum. Uh, we use the Monsalve and the Martingale betting systems. We don't reset after a win in the Monsalve betting system. We stop after a loss followed by a win if we reach our five units target. That means that if we are winning and then we lost, if we reach our five unit target, then we stop there. And uh, and we also stop if we uh, get two wins. Uh, if we get two wins in a row and, uh, and we are winning, so we continue playing. Um, I already modified the formulas with those changes. Uh, the bets are as follows, $25, 50, 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600, 3200, and 5000. Um, that's the information in regards to the game. Um, I'm going to introduce you to my website. This is juancarlosmonsalve.com. This is the presentation. This is the first introduction. It says, welcome to my background research site. Uh, the slogan, together, we will observe new things. Because that's what we are doing with this uh, playing this game is uh, being able to see the whole picture. Um, from here, there are some links to face to my to Facebook, to uh, Twitter or X, and uh, to YouTube. And um, you can or you can also uh, have the donation the donate now button here, um, and it says share your blessings, support my channel, support my work. Your support and contributions will enable me to continue this journey. I am working to deliver a great product to you. You can use the information available here in our website, free of charge, as well as in my Facebook group, Backer Research. My slogan is together, we will observe new things. I am open to conversation. If you want me to try any of your strategies, I will try to create the necessary formulas on the issue. <coughs> Excuse me on the shoes we have already played to verify their uh, effectiveness and then they subscribe and also uh, to sign up uh, you can also do that here um, about our mission we strive to provide the best possible gaming experience to our viewers by uploading plenty of backer videos with their own scorecards for their review our team, we are looking to provide you with many Baccarat shoes play with real cars with a similar environment as at the casinos, a striver for accuracy and a speed as we consider viewers' times is valuable. Our products, uh, we offer some gaming experience to Baccarat players to practice their own games and strategies instead of risking real money at the casino. These videos are located in, in, in youtube.com um the symbol the number symbol for hashtag juan carlos monsalve 1652 that's the name of my channel my website again juancarlosmonsalve.com 
My email is juancarlosmonsalve12 at gmail.com. And uh, this is the scorecard. So this is uh, last night's scorecard, December 13, 2023. The date is here as well, the first card. The, the entire shoe is here, first hand, second hand, third hand. Uh, here it says tie, V0 or yellow. Uh, banker is minus one or red. Player is one or blue. Uh, my place is how I have determined how I'm gonna play the, the, the clue, the, the shoe before I play it. And then it tells me if it, I win or lose. And the Monsalve betting system, the Martikel betting system, this strategy goes with this one here. Separated by the green, um, green column here. Uh, this is the second strategy, the one that starts with the player for players. This is the player for me. This is a player strategy. And this is the combined strategy that also starts with player. But I will use these strategies when the, uh, when the shoe starts with a tie. And also Monsalve betting system here, Martingale betting system, Monsalve betting system, and Martingale betting system. So two uh, money management uh, systems for one play. Uh, here is the win is a blue one or loss minus one or red and uh, here is one here is the second one and here is the third and then you come here you go to the next page and the next page tells you hands number 27 to hands number 60 and the same three uh, the three games here the three strategies with the two uh, betting systems and the next one uh, this is the end of the uh, hand number 78 that it was as it was played the totals the amount needed for each one of the games uh, and the, the following page it tells you it shows you well here are the strategies that I have when it start with player when it start with banker with the combined one and these are the, when we started, the initial um, formulas that I created was for um, for how we uh, write down the games. Like, if, you know, speak, still people use the two, every two, or every three, every four. I have it all the way until 11. Uh, those are 10 uh, additional scorecards that you can use to verify the game. This is the way that I was doing it at the beginning um, to show you and, um, and the way that you can analyze each one of the games. This is uh, last last night. Uh, the one before is uh, I only have three uploaded uh, already open. Uh, three different scorecards for the last three games. I updated every time that I play a new game, I updated it. And, and then all the scorecards since the beginning, the beginning, the first one was uh, in October 13 of 2023. And uh, you can uh, download these, uh, all, these, uh, all these games I have played so far. I have 43, uh, 43 games. And here there may be probably more, no, probably 20, 43. Um, I play a few a few more before I, I uploaded the first video, but you can you can access those that I play online. That the video is in YouTube and uh, Facebook group, and the Facebook group you can also find them there. Uh, those videos. Uh, this is my website. It's uh, free of charge. You can visit that as well anytime. Um, and then um, I have this. Uh, uh, this uh, shoe here, and this is last night's shoe. I made some corrections to the formula, uh, some adjustments uh, every time uh, that I have a new scenario that I don't have formulated. I may have to uh, enter the information manually. And then, uh, and then I have to uh, work the correction or the addition of that the scenario to my uh, to the formula for the following day, so I did that today. Um, this is uh, this is the new. Well, I just deleted the information from yesterday. I saved it. Uh, I created a copy. This is yesterday's. So I created a copy, and I work on this one. 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel to give it a thumbs up or a like to this video ring the bell share uh, the video in your to your family and friends and don't forget sit back and observe my youtube channel is at Juan Carlos Monsalve 1652 and my facebook group is Baccarat research and um, uh, begin on this side of the of the screen on the left side we have p equals one or player and blue um, the, uh, the banker is banker b equal minus one or b as in boy and red or tie is equal zero or yellow and here is going to show the winner um, and my play i have it here this is uh, Uh, this is uh, uh, for player. Uh, player, this one is going to be for banker. I will, I will wait. I will play the first. My first play will be player. Um, so we're going to start right now. So this is my first, the first card, the one that we've earned. This is the six of of spade. So. We burn six more cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we type the information here six of a spade. Um, I'm, I don't use this information yet. I may use it in the future. I'm collecting information. Everything that I do is I'm just collecting information. I uh, start adding beddings and and the system just to be able to test my own strategies and I use that information to uh, to build up the strategy so this is uh, the burn card and now I'm going to play the first hand and play going for player so first card for player first card for banker second card for player second card for banker player has a three and gets a third card the third card is a five for a total of eight Banker has a zero and gets a third card, and it's, a, it's an eight. So eight player, eight banker, this is a tie hand. So this is a no money won or loss. Um, it's a tie hand. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and copy, Copy the combined formula. This is the one that I use when the player, when the shoe starts with the play with the player. I use the coin no, of excuse me with the tie. I use I use the combined formula. And and this hand I I play player, but no winner or lose, and didn't win or lose. On this one, I'm gonna play uh, the player formula. That is this one here. And um, I just copy the, the formula here. And on the third column or the tray, on the third my play is going to be the banker formula. And I have it here, the banker formula. So I copy the formula. That's the way I'm going to play all three strategies. First, second, and third. I only, I, I would put my attention more on the first one. That is the one that I will be using or that I'm using for uh, when they tie, when they play, uh, when they chew, it starts with a tie. Uh, so eight, eight. Um, so I'm gonna play my second hand. My, I'm gonna play for the next two, um, for the next two uh, hands, I will be playing banker. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Bank uh, player has a six and stands, banker has a two and gets a third card. The third card is an eight for a total of zero. So the six player and zero banker. Uh, this is a player hand, I was playing banker. I lost this hand. I lost $25. My next bet will be $50. And that's going to be in all three strategies, $50. Uh, my next bet, I will be playing banker again. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. So player has a, a five. And banker has a natural nine, so this is a banker uh, banker win. So I was playing banker. I won this hand. I won fifty dollars. I am at twenty five. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna just uh, be, uh, focus on the first column and the first uh, most aggravating system. That's the one that I that is, is uh, for me is the one that I like the most. Uh, so first card for player and banker, second card for player, second card for banker, player has a six and a stand, and banker has a four and gets a third card, the third card is a three for a total of seven, so player has a six, banker has a seven, this is a banker hand, I was playing uh, player, so I lost this hand, I lost $50, when I win, uh, I keep the same bet, I don't, I don't reset, in the Monsalve betting system, with the uh, Martingale betting system, I reset and I go back to the uh, to the minimum bet that is 25 again. But I keep the same bet every time that I lose. I double every time that I win. I keep the same bet. So my next two plays will be uh, players. It will be three, uh, two more players in a row that I will play. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a natural eight. Banker has a four. So this is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. I won one hundred dollars, and now I am up seventy-five. Um, my next bet will be another player. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Now player has a six and banker has a natural eight. This is a banker hand. I was playing player, so I lost this hand. I lost one hundred dollars and I am down one hundred excuse me, I'm down twenty-five dollars in the Monsanto betting system. My next play, my next two plays will be two bankers. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Banker has a six, player has a two, I guess a third card, the third card is a zero. So uh, player, banker doesn't get any more cards. So two player and banker six, this is a banker hand. I was playing banker, I want this hand. I want $200. So I, at this moment, I am up $175. The new addition to the formula is that if I have a loss, I don't have the target that is $125. In this case, five units, $125. If we, because I double the money, uh, if I win, if that with that win, I go over, or, or I reach my target, or if, or if I go over, I will stop there. So. On this game, at uh, hand number seven, I already won $175. I will stop there. Uh, with the Martingale betting system, in the same with the same strategy, uh, I'm still I am up $75, but I will still keep going on this one. On this one, I will analyze that later, uh, but it's already formulated the same way as this one, so I will be focused on this one only. So my next uh, bet, my next play will be banker, but I will go bet any more money. I'm already out at this point. I will exit, exit the casino, exit the table. I won't go to another table. I just exit the table. So I make $175 in seven hands. Seven hands it can be played in seven, in seven minutes, so seven to ten minutes. So my next play will be banker. So first card for player. First card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is an eight. So it reduces the player to two. Uh, two player and banker has a four and does not get any more cards. So two, four. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. No money was involved since I already stopped. Uh, when I finished here, I was even in the number of hands won and lost. And um, uh, this one, I'm one hand up. This column tells me if I'm up or down in the number of hands played and won or lost. I'm going to place it here uh, and split so I keep uh, the titles uh, frozen. Uh, my next, uh, my next uh, bet will be a player. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker. 
player has a six and a stance, banker has a four and gets a third card, the third card is an eight. So player six, uh, banker two, four plus eight, 12 or two. So this is a player hand, I was playing player, I won this hand. Uh, in this case, we have three wins in a row. Uh, this one here is supposed to be zero. Uh, this is an adjustment that I have to make to the formula, but it's a zero here since I already stopped playing here. So I need to add that the scenario to, to this formula. Um, the formulas are a little long and complicated. We see here, uh, this is uh, this is the uh, the formula here. Uh, so it's long. This is it's, it's long. This it requires some work to do that, and some scenarios that are not listed there, I have to add them there. And um, uh, sometimes, if uh, if an scenario is similar to another one, it has to be exact to be able not to conflict from one scenario to another, because it can give me an error. So I need to. It takes some time to fix a, uh, or add any scenario to the formula. But it's something that I like, I enjoy doing. My next hand will be a banker. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a zero. So no more card for uh, for banker. It's, got, it's a one and gets a third card. The third card is an eight for a total of nine. So player has a one, banker has a natural nine excuse me, a regular nine. So this is a banker hand. I was playing banker, I won this hand. So my next uh, play will be a player. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Um, Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at zero. Banker has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a two for a total of five. So player zero, banker five. This is a banker hand. I was playing player, so I lost his hand. Um, according to what I see here on the Martin Gilberry system, it was already 150, lost his hand. Uh, the total amount is $125. And um, I won, um, this, this formula won, um, won continue playing. So no more bets on this side. And we already reached the target. My next uh, bet will be a banker. So first card for player. First card for banker. Second card for player. Second card for banker. Uh, player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at five. Uh, banker has a seven and a stand. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. So, um, so yeah, I'm up three hands on this row. On this uh, row, on this uh, former Mozart betting system, but it's the same as the Martin betting system because we use the same strategy. Uh, but on this one, um, I have four wins here. They say that if I didn't stop playing here, we have been adding 200, 200, 200, lost 200 here, but I made a change because uh, something that happened this week. So uh, I'm, I'm testing and this is uh, all that I'm doing here with these uh, games and, and making some adjustments and, and uh, making the strategy better and also maybe uh, making the betting system better uh, for all of us. If you like to use my system, if not, at least you have the information that you can use for any system or any strategy that you have. So first card for bear, uh, for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card banker. Player has a natural nine. Banker has a two. Uh, player is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. Um, um, uh, on this uh, strategy, I'm um, up for four hands. Uh, my next play will be player, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. 
uh, player has a two, and banker has a natural nine. This is a banker hand. I was playing player, so I lost this hand. My next play will be a banker. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a two for a total of seven. Banker has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a three for a total of six. So player has a seven, banker has a six. So this is a player hand. I was playing banker, so I lost this hand. My next play will be a player. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a, an eight for a total of one. And banker has a seven, so no more cards for banker. So one seven, this is a banker hand. I was playing player, so I lost this hand. Um, on this one here, uh, this one here it should be zero since we already reached the target here, so it shouldn't be moving. And on this one, on this one is the stop at 275, that is correct. On this one is the stops at 175, that is correct as well. Here uh, is the stop at 125, one loss, one win, so $50. Uh, one and reach the target and exit there and on this one here one loss one win $125 if quick there no more bets on this side as well so all the, uh, the strategies already stopped playing uh, any money and we will review them later um, but we will continue playing the shoe, so we can get the data as well for the re for the remaining of, of the shoe. So my next bet will be a banker. First card for player. First card for banker. Second card for player. Second card for banker. Player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a four for a total of seven. Banker has a five and he gets a third card. If we get anything from four from four to seven, so the third card for banker is a one for a total of six. So player has a seven, banker has a six. This is a player hand, I was playing banker, I lost this hand. I put this back there. Uh, my next uh, play will be a player, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a natural nine, um, banker has a two, this is a player hand, I was playing player, I won this hand. My next play will be a banker, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a one for a total of four. Banker has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at three. Player has a four, banker has a three. This is a player hand. I was playing banker, so I lost this hand. My next play will be a player. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player. Second card for banker. Uh, player has a seven and stands. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a five. It's for a total of five. So player seven, banker five. This is a player hand. I was playing player, so I won this hand. My next play will be player. First card for player. First card for banker. Second card for player. Second card for banker. Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a nine. Banker has a six and it gets a third card. We get a six or seven. Player third card. So this is a player hand. Nine, uh, six. Player hand. I was playing player, so I won this hand. My next play will be two more players. So first card for player. First card for banker. Second card for player. Second card for banker. Player has a six and gets a third, uh, six, those doesn't get any more cards. A banker has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a nine for a total of one. So player six, banker one. 
This is a player hand, I will play. Okay, we are playing hand number 23. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker, player has a natural nine. And banker has a zero, so this is a player hand. I was playing player, I won this hand. And um, what I see here is that I've been winning four four hands in a row. So this is what I'm looking for when I double my bet, and this is what I'm looking for for a streak. But I'm already out of the bet. And um, also, if I have uh, remain, if I have no exited, I also had four losses in a row. So that's why we have to be careful to be able to exit the shoe before um, to, we have too many losses at the same way. But too many losses. So, uh, yeah, we make a, a lose uh, our bankrolls. So we just make it a little profit here and then move to the next casino if there are more casinos in your area. So my next play would be banker. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a zero. So it remains at four. Banker has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a nine for a total of zero. So uh, player has a four, banker has a zero. So this is a player hand. I was playing banker, so I lost this hand. My next two plays will be player. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a six and a stance, banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a two. So player has a six, banker has a two. This is a player's hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. My next play will be a bank a player. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, my banker has a natural eight. Then a player has a one. So this is a banker hand. I was playing player. I lost this hand. My next play will be a banker, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a nine for a total of two. Uh, banker has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a nine for a total of zero. So player two, banker zero. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. My next play will be two players in a row. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so he remains at four. Banker has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a seven for a total of eight. So player four, banker eight. So this is a banker hand. I was playing player, so I lost this hand. My next play will be player, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a six and a stance, and banker has a natural nine. So this is a banker hand. I was playing player. Uh, I, was, I lost this hand. My next uh, three plays will be bankers. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a seven and a stance. Banker has a natural eight. So this is a banker hand. I was playing banker, I won this hand. My next uh, two plays will be bankers. So uh, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, Second card for banker. Player has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a nine, so for a total of zero. Banker has a five, uh, excuse me, a three. And a three, and he gets a third card. The third card is another three for a total of six. So banker has a zero. Uh, player has a zero, and banker has a six. 
So this is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next hand will be another banker. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a seven and it stands. Banker has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a nine, so we will use it at four to three. So seven player, banker three. This is a player hand. I was playing banker, so I lost this hand. My next play will be player. I will be playing five players in a row. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for bankers. Banker has a seven on his tags. Player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a one. It's an, it's an eight for a total of one. One player, seven banker. This is a banker hand. I was playing player, so uh, I lost this hand. My next uh, play will be another player. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a six and a stance, banker has a four and gets a third card. The third card is an eight for a total of two. So player six, banker two. This is a player hand, I was playing player, so I won this hand. My next uh, three hands will be players. First card for player, first card for banker, Second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a natural nine. Banker has a four. This is a player hand. I was playing player, so I won this hand. My next uh, play will be two players. First card for player, first card for banker. Second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a nine, so it reduces to three. Banker has a five and only gets a third card if we have anything from four to seven. So this is a three player, banker five. This is a banker hand. I was playing player, so I lost this hand. My next play will be a player. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. So player has a natural nine. Banker has a three, so this is a player hand. I was playing player, so I won this hand. My uh, next uh, bet, my next place will be two, three, four, five bankers. So we'll play a banker for the next five hands. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a 3 and gets a third card, the third card is a 5 for a total of 8, banker has a 0 and gets a third card, the third card is a 6, so this is a player hand, 8 player, uh, 6 banker, this is a player hand, I was playing banker, I lost this hand, my next play will be another banker, uh, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, Second card for banker. The banker has a seven and stands. Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a six. So this is six players, seven banker. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker, so I won this hand. My next play will be three bankers. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a natural eight. But banker has a natural nine, so this is a banker hand. I was playing banker, so I won this hand. My next two plays will be bankers. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a two for a total of six. Banker has a two. Um, yeah, has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a four for a total of six. So this is a tie hand. Six player and six banker. Uh, this is the tie, uh, tie hand. We have 20 players so far. 20 players, 19 bankers, and two ties for a total of 41 hands. 41 hands on the shoe. Check something here. Uh, my next uh, bet will be a banker. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. 
uh, a player has a natural nine, banker has a four. This is a player hand. I was playing banker, so I lost this hand. My next play will be player. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player. Second card for Banker, player has a zero and gets a third card, the third card is a five. Banker has a two and gets a third card, the third card is a zero, so it remains at, at two. So player five, Banker two. This is a player hand, I was playing player, so I won this hand. My next two plays will be Bankers, two Bankers. So first card for player, first card for Banker, second card for player, second card for Banker. Player has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a, is a zero, so it remains at one. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a four, so now it's four. One player, four banker. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next play will be another banker. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a natural eight, banker has a seven, so this is a player hand. I was playing banker, so I lost this hand. My next play will be a player, so first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a natural eight, and banker has a seven, so this is a player hand. I was playing player, so I won this hand. My next play will be a banker. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a two for a total of three. Banker has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at three. So three player. Uh, three banker. This is a tight hand. Uh, I am uh, I was playing banker, so no, didn't win, didn't lose. It was a tie hand. We have three times, uh, three ties on the shoe. Twenty-four players, twenty bankers, three ties for a total of forty-seven hands. My next uh, bet will be a player. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at two. Banker has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at zero. So player two, uh, banker zero. So this is a player hand. I was playing player, so I won this hand. My next hand will be a banker. I will be playing banker for the next uh, four hands. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a natural eight. Banker has a two. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. I will be playing banker for the next uh, three more hands. Uh, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a zero and gets a third card, the third card is a six. Banker has a three and gets a third card, the third card is a nine, so it reduces it to two. So six player, uh, two banker, this is a player hand, I was playing banker, I lost this hand. My next two plays would be bankers as well. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a one and gets a third card, it gets a five for a total of six. Banker has a two and gets a third card, the third card is a zero. So this is a six player and two banker. This is a player hand, I was playing banker, so I lost this hand. Uh, my next play will be banker, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a five and gets a third card, the third card is a five for a total of zero. And uh, banker has a six and only gets a third card, if we get a six or seven, player third card. So this is a banker hand, I was playing banker, I won this hand. I will be playing player next hand, so first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. 
I have a player natural eight, but I got a nine, natural nine banker. So this is a banker hand. I was playing a player, so I lost this hand. My next uh, play will be banker. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. So player has a natural nine. Banker has a two. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. Uh, my next play will be uh, a player. And then two bankers. So in our first player. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a four for a total of seven. Banker has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a two for a total of five. So um, a seven player, banker five. This is a player hand. I was playing player, so I won this hand. My next two plays will be bankers. I will be, play, be playing banker. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a natural nine, banker has a two, so this is a player hand, I was playing banker, I lost this hand. My next play will be banker. So first card for players, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, now I have a natural nine banker and a five player. So five nine, this is a banker hand. I was playing banker, I won this hand. My next uh, play, I will be playing player for the next three hands. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. And player has a one and gets a third card. The third, third card is a zero, so it remains at one. Banker has a seven, so Player one, banker seven. This is a banker hand. I was playing player, so I lost this hand. My next uh, two plays will be players. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a six and gets a uh, arm stays. Banker has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a one for a total of six. So this is another tie six player, six banker. And uh, we have four ties on the shoe, 31 players, 24 bankers, four ties for a total of 59 hands. My next uh, play will be player. And uh, just keep in mind that every time that I have a, play, uh, a tie hand, I move to the next, uh, to my next uh, uh, bet, in this case, bet number 60. So, uh, so I will move my money if it's a different one, player or banker. If the next uh, hand is a different in my strategy, I will move the money to the next one. Um, so ties affect my game, so that's why I have to move the money. Uh, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at four. Banker has a two and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains at two. Uh, player four, banker two. This is a player hand. Uh, my next hand will be, uh, my next play will be a banker. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a seven and it stands. Banker has a natural nine. So this is a banker hand. I was playing banker, so I won this hand. My next play will be another banker. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a natural eight. Banker has a seven. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next play will be a banker, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a natural eight, and banker has a one, so this is a player hand. I was playing banker, I lost this hand. My next play will be a player, first card for player, first card for banker, 
second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a five, and banker has a natural nine. This is a banker hand. I was playing player, so I lost this hand. My next bet will be a banker, and I will be playing banker for the next four hands. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a two uh, for a total of seven. And banker has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so it remains a three. So player seven, banker three. This is a player hand. I was playing, uh, I was playing banker, so I lost this hand. Uh, my next play will be banker. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a natural eight. Banker has a seven. This is a player hand. I was playing banker. I lost this hand. My next play will be two bankers. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, banker has a natural eight, and player has a seven. So this is a play a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. Uh, my next play will be banker. First card for player. First card for banker. Second card for player. Second card for banker. Player has a four and gets a third card. The third card is a seven, so it reduces that four to one. Player one. Banker has a four and he gets a third card. He will get anything from two to seven. So he gets a third card. The third card is a three for a total of seven. So player one, banker seven. This is a banker hand. I was playing banker, so I won this hand. My next play will be the player. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a five for a total of eight. Banker has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a seven for a total of zero. So this is a eight player, zero banker. This is a player hand. I was playing player. I won this hand. My next two plays will be bankers. I will be playing two bankers in a row. So, uh, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a natural eight. Banker has a two. And this is a player hand. I was playing banker, so I lost this hand. My next player, or my next play will be a banker. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a three and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so he remains a three. Banker has a five, and he doesn't get any more cards. So this is a three player and five banker. So this is a banker hand. I was playing banker, so I won this hand. My next bet will be a player. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a five, and banker has a natural eight. This is a banker hand. I was playing player, so I lost this hand. My next play will be banker. First card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a five and gets a third card. The third card is a three for a total of eight. Banker has a four and we get a third card. We get anything from two to seven. So the third card is a five for a total of nine. So um, I get here five plus three, eight. And banker has a nine. So this is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My next play, I will be playing player for the next two hands. So first card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker. Uh, player has a natural eight. Banker has a seven. This is a player hand. I was playing player, so I won this hand. 
My next play will be player, first card for player, first card for banker, second card player, second card banker. Player has a one and gets a third card, he gets a eight for a total of nine. And banker has a five and he doesn't get any more cards. So nine, five, this is a player hand. I was playing player, so I won this hand. My next uh, play, I will be playing four bankers in a row. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a one and gets a third card. The third card is a zero, so he remains at one. Banker has a five and doesn't get any more cards. So one, five, this is a banker hand. I was playing banker, so I won this hand. Next uh, three plays will be bankers. First card for player. First card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Uh, we have a player natural eight and banker also a natural eight, so this is a, a tie hand. We have 40 players, uh, 32 bankers, five ties for a total of 77 hands. My next uh, play will be banker, first card for player, first card for banker, second card for player. Second card for banker. I got a cut card, so I will finish this hand and I will play one more. Um, the, we have a zero player and zero banker. Both of them get a third card. Player has a five third card. Banker has a seven third card. So this is a, a five player and banker has a seven. So this is a banker hand. I was playing banker. I won this hand. My, my last uh, play will be a banker. First card for player, first card for banker, second card for player, second card for banker. Player has a zero and gets a third card. The third card is another zero, so it remains at zero. Zero player, banker, remains at four, no more cards for banker. So this is a banker hand, I was playing banker, I won this hand. Uh, for a total of this, uh, of this uh, two, if I have played the Monsalve betting system, I would have made $175. Uh, the only amount that I was uh, in the hole was $25, I was in negative 25 at some point, and my next bet of 200 so uh, the only amount of money that I needed on this shoe for this strategy was $225. The regular Martingale system uh, was in the whole 25. The maximum bet was 50, so I only needed $75 to be able to play this shoe. Uh, on the Musalbe betting system, on the other, my second strategy that I started with, uh, with a player, um, I only needed $50. With the Martingale system was also $50. And with the with the third strategy, strategy that is the one that started with, started with the bank, um, I also I was not in the hole at any point here. I was always up, so that was a good sign. It was just all winning. The same here, winning, winning, close here, then all wins here. Uh, the blue on this side is a, is a, is a win. So. This, uh, th these two strategies also made 175 here, 125, 125, 275 here. Um, the strategy that I would have been used on this game will have been $175. Um, uh, I also, as a reminder, uh, the, the scorecards are still here. You can still the same scorecards that I used to uh, at the beginning. I still record those. They are here available. You can. They are part of the scorecards that I uh, uh, post in my website, JuanCarlosMonsalve.com. Don't forget, you can um, access those scorecards there. Um, you can uh, support my channel by using PayPal at paypal.me backslash JuanCarlosMonsalve12 or the web website buymeacoffee.com backslash JuanCarlosMonsalve or cash up at uh, or uh, dollar sign Juan Carlos Monsalve. If you want to email me, you can do it at Juan Carlos Monsalve12 at gmail.com. You can access my YouTube channel at Juan Carlos Monsalve1652 or my Facebook group, Background Research. Don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, 
share the video with others, watch it again, sit back and observe. I watched from the beginning all the way to the end, all my videos. I have uh, 43, 44 videos.